What's really good, Gaming Life Nation? I'm Akil, the real deal with zeal and mass appeal, and I'm feeling super fresh blessed that you came to join us because we've got Taylor Scott, the CTO and founder of Icon Incorporated, to talk with us about the mobile iOS and Android game President's Run, where you can play as your favorite candidates and a whole bunch of other characters in the political arena. What's good? How you feeling, Taylor? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing well, man. It's great to spend so much time with you. I feel like we've known each other for a minute. I just think it's the passion of gaming and living this gaming life. Feels like it's been years. <laughs> and how are you doing? It looks like you're in a nice environment. You're dressed well. Which Sunny San Diego. We're loving it. It's doing good. Except for all the fires, but fortunately, we're, we're happy that they've been put out. Shoot. Hey, me too. And here in Vegas, the weather has been starting to cool down a little bit. But speaking of, of gaming and the gaming life, what we like to call the G life, will you tell us what are some of your favorite games of all time? Like even now you would go back and play it. All time. Um, for me, definitely Legend of Zelda, um, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask. Majora's Mask just frustrated me though with the constant reset, even though it was still an incredible game, but still uh, Ocarina of Time is number one. Also, I have to say, and it's my my secret shame, but the Game Boy Advance Pokemon Gold. Ooh. <laughs> I consider myself a Pokemon master. And that is one of the, I just went back and bought Pokemon Silver. I know it's not gold. You're I bought kidding. it on the Nintendo 3DS. That bird on it, I love it. But I feel like you calling yourself a Pokemon master was a challenge to me directly, and I might have to take you up on that one. <laughs> So what is the last Pokemon game you played? Oh, like, gold. Well, I mean, gold. the new one, Switch, was fantastic. Yeah, the, okay. Sword and yeah, uh, Shield. To the, to the old style Game Boy system still. Yes. Speaking of Pokemon, they've done a great job of keeping that IP and moving it to the mobile platform. I remember I was a little bit hesitant about playing mobile games at first as a traditional console or PC gamer. And I've been playing President's Run on my phone and of course a bunch of other games. And I really don't feel like that stigma exists anymore about mobile games. I not totally, being real games. I was the same, I was the exact same way for me, especially during the beginning. Um, I, I mean, I would play vintage titles or vintage game systems that were put on it that I, I knew I loved, like Caterpillar on the original iPhone. Um, you know, even Tetris, like that was those were good times. But nowadays it's the more sophisticated ones that I almost Actually, I would say almost, I actually prefer things like Fortnite on a mobile device rather than on a console system. It just feels more comfortable. It feels more exciting. Interesting. Okay. I I don't play Fortnite, but what what, what is the advantage of you playing on your mobile phone compared to console? It's, it's funny. There's zero. If anything, if, if, if as soon as you leave PC, you lose all your advantages. It's just the, the lightning fast reactions. The ability to use a mouse separately will always improve. I tried doing console on Overwatch from PC, and it was probably the worst two weeks of my life. My, my eyes are went straight <laughs> down the tubes. But it, for me, I love the emotional impact of it and the fact that when you play a game, I think it's just as important as how much you play it or mm. how. And so having the ability to play those games in those moments when you'd like to fill your life with a little more joy than is currently in it, I think having a mobile solution is best. I absolutely agree. Yeah, mobile, that you're a lot less limited when you want to play and how long you're going to play the game. Yeah. And now let's talk about President's Run and I can incorporate it because this game President's Run started in 2012 and the most popular racer or character happened to win the election back then, Obama. So what made you get together with President's Run now? So I, I, Iken's mission statement is, is to improve almost every facet of human experience. Um, and one interesting thing for us was what a cool idea it was to sort of evolve things like polling or, or data gathering. Um, no one in planet Earth ever has enjoyed the act of taking a poll or being part of a poll or, um, I mean, you look, you watch um, Family Feud and they had, there were people that had to sit in an audience and go, ah, answer, answer. And it's one of the most unenjoyable experiences because it's just you giving answers. To be able to take that framework and put it into an enjoyable, continuous application where, you know, you're not just answering a question one time, but you're actually playing as a character or you're enjoying the mechanics, you're able to buy power-ups. Um, 
it, it allows you to have actually that enjoyable, you know, life that games can bring while actually, you know, giving valuable data. So all the information is collected and made into a worldwide poll, even not so much just for the United States, but anybody on the planet can play the application and actually mm. be within either of those characters. So we're able to look at that and be like, wow, look at, look at how many people are supporting this individual. Of course, we also keep it lighthearted. We have Zombie Washington and Franken Lincoln, who's my personal favorite. Um, <laughs> but being able to give people a lighthearted way to approach a very serious subject of, of what is now. Yeah, Vladimir Putin is in the game and Kim Jong-un as well. So you definitely get that, uh, that broad uh, mass appeal in the game. And when I play it, even though I see all these figures that I know and every day I see a commercial about the election, when I play it, I don't feel any of that same pressure or that hard decision making. <laughs> it's just it's right. just fun to be Trump and blasting off running across the rooftops. Yeah, we, we it was a really <laughs> serious point for us at ICANN to have zero political involvement or opinion with this because we don't want to, you know, don't want to bias in any direction. So the fact that you can be Biden running with a rainbow wig or Trump running with a top hat or a, a beer helmet is my favorite. Um, or you can be Jacinda Arden or you can be, you know, again, Frank and Lincoln. It, it takes the seriousness from it, the, the, the stigma of, 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 you know, stress, and it removes that and allows you to just sort of enjoy the moment while at the same time uh, being able to, you know, support uh, whatever system you're going for. Yeah. And when it comes to the future, not only is ICANN involved with this presidential election, but also the future of what's possible and games on the mobile device, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Next year, we're going to be launching the world's first uh, mobile holographic uh, system that will actually attach to your mobile phone. So instead of it being like, it's not a headset, it's not uh, you know a big giant thing. It's literally a device that you can attach to your mobile phone and have interplay. So everything in the 2D phone can actually be dragged over and you know Princess Leia with volume. So as you move around it, you can actually perceive mm -hmm. it in volume being projected in space. So President's Run is really the first application in a large catalog that's gonna wind up being volumetrically translated into that interplay with the mobile phone. Yes, and how does the Unity development platform work with the holographic technology? Yeah, so we've been, we've greatly enjoyed our, our working with our developer partners at Unity 3D. Actually, the, the background function for the different rendering systems is actually embedded into the back end of Unity. So with the current versions, when we launch our SDK, you can actually go through the process of creating a simple Unity application. I mean, Unity boasts the fact that literally within 10 minutes, you can download a, a package and publish an application on the Unity store. Um, it's, it's so incredibly easy to create really enjoyable games for us. And it's why ICANN is so excited about our partnership with them is um, a lot of the applications that come from Unity side are the really, really, really enjoyable brief play applications. So when you're looking to not spend 30 minutes on an application, but you just want to spend maybe five minutes as a little stick figure that's that's hanging and jumping across, you know, space going to a finish line. That's what Unity is so good for. So we're able to literally churn out hundreds of applications in, in a month with Unity because it's such a seamless build out process. That's dope. And because of the way that Unity works, other businesses and other gaming companies, they'll be able to use some of your assets. And, and it's just like you're elevating the entire industry with what you're doing right now and absolutely I, yeah, we're, yes. uh, no, I appreciate that yeah we're we're really passionate you know as, as you're developing again so we have patents around hyper dense lens systems projection apparati but when it comes right down to it Ikin's really passionate about giving the toolbox into the developers hands across the world that's the beautiful thing about the mobile platform is a, to create an app a game for like a playstation or an xbox requires a lot of, of work. That's why developer companies do that. But for a mobile application, it's it's this really unique little universe where I, I you know I can be 16 years old and make Flappy Bird. And then and, you know and it's a huge hit and it brings joy. I think of how many just hundreds of thousands of people get so much joy from playing that game or Crossy Roads. <laughs> and it's and literally be built in such a short amount of time. So being able to give them those tools via our SDK and Unity, uh, being able to translate those from a 2D space into a volumetric Princess Leia 3D space is going to be really exciting. No doubt. Yeah. The way that you describe it makes me realize how quickly we've advanced with gaming technology and how, as you said, young people are able to create games and it and it start maybe on the mobile platform. But you see, you talked about Crossy Road. That's in uh, arcades now and console as well. I, I, oh, yeah. I'm ashamed I play that game. Probably I get every, every <laughs> day. So much time of my life has gone into Crossy Roads. 
your passion for gaming is obvious, you know, that you love to play games, but I'm curious what inspires you to create Icon and to, to take that step of being behind the games instead of just always holding the controller or a phone? Yeah, I love that. That's, a, that's an awesome question because I, you think about how many jobs there are for game development. There's concept artists, there's musicians, there's, there's you know, the actual coding developers, there's environment, integrated design environments. Uh, it, for me, it's, it's a lot like an orchestra, and I love the idea of taking so many components that are on their own right great, like concept art is fantastic, but when you merge concept art with a really fantastic 3D developer and then a high quality rendering environment, and then you add a soundtrack to it, you really are creating a symphony that is, is powerful. And you know, like with a lot of musicians, nobody quite has your vision. It doesn't matter if you wanna make a game that's, <laughs> nobody quite has that person's identity, that person's vision. So jumping into that back end of it has been, for me, a, a huge passion. Then, you know, that's why I love about Icon. Icon goes, okay, so we can change the, you know, we can make these great applications. Now I wanna project them in space and volume. And so then you, you, you look at that phase and you go, oh my goodness, what, what can't you do with depth fields and things like that? So just being able to take a, a, our view and add it to the, to the gameplay, you know, pool is, we're passionate about it. Yeah, I can tell that you must have an incredible imagination. And as an artist, you must get that joy of seeing whatever you imagine come to reality and other people and enjoy it. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By no means is make a, a mobile application an easy job, especially like a successful one. Um, you know, they always hit Roblox with presidents run, you know, there's always, there were code issues, build issues, but at the end of the day, when you, when you're actually playing that, that system and you hear the, the doo -doo -doo music and you're, you literally see Lincoln as a Frankenstein ass monster running across a field with gravestones in the back and you see everything kind of come together it is it is euphoric it's 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 like your dream being made a reality i love it absolutely and what has been your proudest accomplishment since working with Icon this period since you've joined the gaming industry now proudest accomplishment i'm very proud of of our our patent strategies that we've been going through especially with our our design firm so we we partner with quite a few very intelligent people in actually creating the device and we're really excited about now that we're approaching our beta um, soon, it, seeing a device actually going from, you know, our concept, our patent systems to actually being created. And then now things like these applications actually watching things go from a 2D space and float up and immediately become volumetric and projected in open space. That that's goosebump territory for me all day. That's definitely been a, been a great moment for us. Yeah, the future is now like thinking that next year I'll be able to play a holographic game on my phone. It's just it's very humbling and just reminds me of how exciting it is to be alive, to be living the G life during these times. The mobile platform is such a beautiful, a beautiful thing. I mean, you see so many commercials for it, but we think about, especially during like the, the COVID life, it, the mo if without a mobile phone, you would be locked out of so much communication opportunity, so much human interaction. And now a lot of our human interaction has to be virtual. It, it used to be that we would complain that so much of it was virtual. And now we're forced into it. It all has to be virtual. So now like with this device, it goes from that, that static screen to you literally have that Wizard of Oz head in volume being projected in their space. You're, you're the Jedi Council and you're actually able to communicate with them real time. Is, it's a whole new way of changing your emotions, being able to Skype with your grandchildren in another continent, um, you know, but have that emotional engagement of they're actually there. It's, it's the future. We're, we're so excited about being able to bring it. Yes, and it's been great talking with you because of how you see technology as a tool to enhance people's lives. And you mentioned the Skyping with the family, because I think some people think it technology is taking our heart and the real connections out of it. But I love how you're saying that, no, it's, it's making it stronger and you're pushing for that. And uh, let everyone know that's living the gaming life, how they can connect with you and Icon. Yeah, so iconinc.com. Um, you can sign up for our newsletter and all of our updates as we're approaching bringing this uh, product to market. Uh, any, any individuals who want to be involved in our beta as well would want to sign up. Um, we have a lot of updates co constantly, as well as for President's Run. You can find it on the App Store, of course, as well as presidentsrun.net and on Facebook. Yes, make sure you check out at President's Run on Facebook and presidentsrun.net because that's where you can see the poll. I know I mentioned earlier in the interview, but in 2012, the poll in the game accurately depicted who won. So we'll see what's gonna happen this year. And it seems like it's impossible to avoid this election. So you might as well have some fun with it and play President's Run. <laughs> right.
thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you all connect with us and we'll see you next time. Peace.